Meanwhile, on 1st of February 2016, European Parliament adopted the resolution on the occupation of Crimea. The Parliament condemns the unprecedented level of human rights violation committed against Crimean Tatars on the peninsula annexed by Russia. Maps have proposed to return the former Geneva Plus concerning the issues of the occupation of the Crimea and not to separate the question of the occupied peninsula from Donbass issues. Paragraph 7, those in favor? President Putin, you keep lying to the whole world. As a chief commander of your little, polite and green man, you bear your personal responsibility for those who disappeared or were mur murdered since 2014 in Crimea. Let me read the following names of Crimean Tatars who lost their lives. Reshat Ametov, Timur Shemardanov, Seyran Zinedinov, Islam Jeparov, Jevdet Islamov, Eskander Absalamov, Ruslan Ganiev, Arlen Terechov. The list is not complete. Colleagues, let's not, let's not repeat the mistakes of the 20th century. Let's call things the right names. Thank you. European Union must continue its policy of non-recognition of annexation and keep the related sanctions against Russia. If Russian authorities want to improve their relations with the European Union, they should withdraw from Crimea and allow Ukraine to reestablish control over its territory. It is vital that the international organizations, human rights NGOs and media have unimpeded access to Crimea and that their presence is coordinated with the Ukrainian authorities. Therefore, I welcome the mission of the Special Representative for Human Rights of the Secretary General of the Council of Europe. Also, I support the proposed Geneva Plus format and believe that the question of Crimea's return to Ukraine and efforts to stop the conflict in the East, Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts, should not be decoupled because we know that the causes of these two problems are the same.